Together almost seven years, married for just over one. She dated him ages 18 to 22, then someone else for a couple years, then me 2012 until now. We are 31. He's 40-ish. Long story we do everything together, including running a successful small business. Our friend group makes fun of how perfect our falling in love story is, and other than this problem, it has been a very happy, fun, successful relationship. Over the years, she saw him occasionally. Birthdays, holidays, etc. Maybe once every couple months. Always for an hour or two, dinner or coffee. I never, not once, saw him. He is married and has a child, and always hid from his wife he was hanging out with my wife. No, he cheated on my wife several times while they were dating, so I have always been baffled why she wanted to keep in contact with him. He also was in a serious accident, where she rehabilitated him, feeding him in bed, for months, and then he cheated on her again as soon as he was back on his feet. He also made her clean his entire house all the time, and inspected her work. She doesn't have many friends, so she always said it was nice to meet up with an old friend who share history. Whatever, I didn't think much of it at first, and I trusted her, even though I disagreed with her. So one day a couple years in, I see her phone light up from the coffee table. He texted her, I glance, and it is a super sexual kind of joke. I freak out inside. I talk to her about, and say it is very inappropriate yada yada. She says she'll talk to him, and it will never happen again. I write it off as him being a dirtbag. Few months later, it happens again. Now I am very freaking right out. So I start reading through her texts while she's asleep, because you know, as embarrassing and gross as it is, I need to know. Lots of sexual jokes, or general, remember the time. Also texts being critical of me. I wake her up screaming, saying she can never see him again if this continues. She doesn't see him for several months. Somehow over the next year or so she talks me into being okay with it again. His cat dies. We need real estate advice. He's in that line of work. I don't know. Whatever. I say okay, cause it's been like a year. This is around year 4 or 5. It seems fine and normal for a while, but I keep reading the texts because gross. I find some more sleazy jokes. I snap and say for real this is the last time. Now a year later, somehow once again, I come around to allowing them hang out, but I am not happy about it. And I must add I have been vehemently not happy about it and telling her so, and it is our sole problem. And it always comes up how much I have asterisk ing hate him, but I love her, so I let her. And it's only every couple months or so, so whatever. Anyway, flash forward to the last couple months. I notice they are talking way more often. Lots of phone calls and texts. We have each other's locations, because we are married and she insisted. I never look. But now I start to look. I check a few weeks ago. She she's at an address I don't recognize. Call her to see what's up. She sounds odd. Says she is at a friend's house. I know where this person's lives and it is not the location she is currently at. So I say. Say hello to X's name for me. Assuming that's what she is doing. She rushes home. She is so scared that she was caught hanging out with him. And in a lie. She is so scared she starts puking and doesn't sleep all night. I am mad as hell, but I forgive her. We are fine for a couple weeks. She is still texting with him lots. We work a lot all week together and have fun. He is around in her life enough over the years that I can't help thinking of him often and comparing myself to him. He is super rich. I'm definitely not. Thoughts of them pop in my mind, of them being together, even while we are being intimate. I tell my mind to F asterisk off, but it keeps happening. I am losing trust. After dropping her off at home after work, I go back to do more work, mentioning I'll be out until 2 a.m. or so. I get tired and come home early thinking we could just watch Netflix. She isn't home, even though I just spoke with her. I check her location, and she is nearby his house. The location updates, she is on its way home. I see the dot stop at the top of the street. I wait 10 or so minutes. I walk up our street, expecting to just surprise them, meet him for the first time, Introduce myself very awkwardly, and then ask her why she is lying about seeing him. As I walk closer, I don't see two silhouettes. I get closer and find them in his car, but she's on his lap, kissing him, arms wrapped around him. I pause for a few seconds in shock. I open his door, fast, I scream, punch him in the face, he looks scared and confused. I throw my ring onto his dash, and scream some sort of speech, storm away back home. Grab cloths, and drive two hours north to stay at my dad's. I think of all the times they must have been together. 
How could it be possible that the only time I have ever seen his face, they are kissing? Out of the dozens and dozens of times I have let them get together, it can't just be the one time, right? I come back to town. We talk. I yell and scream and break stuff, smash a chair, asking for the truth. She says she also kissed him when his cat died, for years ago. But those were the only two times. And they were because she was trying to make him happy. My trust is shattered. I don't believe those could be the only two times. After all the sexual joking texts. And I mean we are adults. Who the F asterisk CK only just makes out for a bit. Even if that is the truth. I have told her for years that he is trying to be more than a friend. She always just brushed it off and continues to convince me that they are just friends and it's no big deal, even though she knew I really didn't want her to see him. Even all of her friends and family have continuously scolded her for seeing him after what he did to her. Considering all that and the fact that she cheated on me four years ago when his cat died, like how dare she? Anyway, I've read online that couples counseling and one-on-one -on -one counseling is the only way to get out of this alive. But to be honest, I'm not feeling very hopeful. This was a building problem, over years, my only problem with her, and it exploded. I am not a violent person. I have been in one fight my entire life, in grade 7. And now I have punched a man in the face. I just don't know if I believe her. She deleted him off everything, and promised she will never see him again. But who knows how long that will last. I guess she just never got over him? And just lied to herself thinking it was just a friendship? And would do anything to get that attention from him? Anyway, anybody else gone through this? What do I do? I hate that I'm posting this. I just don't want our friends to know. Thanks edit. Happily together for almost 7 years. She sees her ex, first love, every so often throughout the years. I find suspect texts over the years, we fight about it. She continually convinces me it's no biggie, time goes by. Same problem, but in frequent, happy life, we get married. Lots of love. A few days ago, I walk up our street and find them in his car. She's on his lap, kissing him. I open his door, fast, I scream, I punch him in the face, he looks scared and confused, my first violence since 7th grade, I throw my ring onto his dash, yell some sort of speech and storm away, and drive 2 hours north to stay at my dad's. We try talking, or maybe getting therapy. Now what do I do?